tell me a little bit about this coho salmon and Department of Natural Resources when you were on the council. I know it's a, a big controversy that hasn't hit the papers yet, but I think the people out there really need to know what you saw and what you experienced while you were a councilman for the Crew Tribe of California. The natural resources were saying that we could turn the coho salmon into the spotted owl. And in doing so, we could take the next step and basically the immediate threat was the miners, the suction dredgers. Mm -hmm. And the suction dredgers, uh, basically they, they pose a tremendous threat because they're a very fierce, independent, uh, group of people that relied on the on the Constitution and and their their rights as American citizens and so the Department of Natural Resources basically felt that if we could drive off uh, the suction dredgers then that would be the first step in driving off the white man now the, the, the suction dredgers the the folks that have been literally kicked off the river um, by the Kurt tribe, Leif Hellman, and uh, what's the gentleman's name? Um, I use gentleman loosely. Craig he's Tucker. The, Craig Tucker. Now, he's from the East Coast or something like that. Yes. And he's kind of a blue blood um, environmentalist with a lot of money and power behind him. What role do you think he's playing in this whole thing? My personal opinion. Your personal opinion, yes. Craig Tucker is basically, he's part of a larger agenda. And his purpose is to exterminate the gold dredgers on the Klamath River and throughout the state of California and socioeconomically exterminate the Shasta people through soft genocidal practices. Mm -hmm. Now, do you think that by kicking off the miners, this is part of a larger economic program to destroy all natural resource based industries within the Klamath Basin? Absolutely. The miners were the first to go, and this was said to me on multiple occasions as I was a tribal counselor. And as well as myself as the executive director of one of their corporations. Correct. In fact, okay. we've had many discussions with the what was, tribal okay, council. There was a meeting that we were in, a yes. uh, closed session, mm -hmm. which I, I cannot... I was there as well. I remember initially when the coho came up, there was an open session, and I believe Sandy Tripp stated that they were going to apply for grants uh, through the... Department of Fish and Game, the California Department of Fish and Game, and they were going to say that the Coho were indigenous. As a tribal councilman for the Karuk tribe, we were approached by the Department of Natural Resources, and the Department of Natural Resources were trying to educate the tribal council into a program or an agenda that that basically took the, the coho salmon, which is not indigenous to the Klamath River, and turned it into the spotted owl. And the purpose for that was to run the white man off the river mm -hmm. and to steal back the water and land rights. On multiple occasions said that, you know, we can, we can get money and mm -hmm. we can get land and we can get power by Falsifying the indigenous nature of the of the coho salmon. Is As, that what you're talking about? Absolutely. There was a council meeting where the tribal council was in that in that meeting. Uh, basically, there was tribal council people that were basically saying, you know, hey, if the coho salmon was not indigenous, then it would be easier to prove that they didn't exist in the Klamath River than it would be to prove that they did, and if they didn't exist, then it would be saner to not bring them back. 